It's been a year since Chef Ramsay crisscrossed the country, trying to save restaurants in trouble. Get together, Marcelo! I want the nightmare to be over. They may have asked for his help, but that didn't stop them from fighting with Gordon. I tell you, what do you think? I don't like it. And each other. Control! Listen, I try to control everything. Every step of the way. I need your smile. I'll be right out. Now, one year later, Chef Ramsay is back, asking the tough questions. Do you still hate me? This business is going well. Is there any possibility that you may get back together? Get ready for a night of surprises. Oh! as Chef Ramsay finds out what happened to Disgusting. the restaurants he tried to save. First, we'll return to Mojitos in Brooklyn. Do it, do it, do it now. Okay, cheese beach. Owned by a former couple who were at war with each other. Mojitos destroy our lives. And we'll check in on the junction, formerly known as Flamangos in rural New Jersey. We know! Shut your mouth already! Run by a stubborn owner, completely resistant to change. I hate it. How can you be positive about something you hate? And lastly, we'll get updated on Bazzini's in Ridgewood, New Jersey. This is where Paul, the owner, fought with his staff. Why do you have to make it so difficult for What the fuck you want from me? And did little to impress Chef Ramsay. Whether you like it or not, you have given up. Tonight, we will see it all. Casa! Who is living the dream and who turned their kitchen back into a nightmare. Oh, you think I'm gonna change now? Last year, my team and I worked tirelessly across the country, turning restaurants around. Tonight, we'll let you in on how they're doing. Before that, let's take a look back at what happened when I first arrived at Mojito. Brooklyn is a hip, trendy, diverse borough of New York. It's the perfect place for a Cuban restaurant, unless that restaurant happens to be called Mojito, run by a divorced couple at war with each other. Yes, we are on it. Marcelo, why don't you listen wow. to me? Cato runs front of the restaurant. Marcelo runs the kitchen. Cato! Well, they spend most of the time running their mouths. No, we have been in my way, in my way. No. She have the book, How Drive Marcelo Crazy. Do it, do it, do it now! Cheese a bitch. What a mess. Seven years in the business, and all they had to show for it was a failed marriage and a huge mountain of debt. There's someone in the bank? Zero. Mojitos destroy our lives. Sorry. When I first walked in, I knew straight away I had my work cut out. A real interesting decor, yeah. It's almost like a sort of garage sale uh, gone wrong. The toxic relationship between Qatar and Marcelo. Thank you very much. Poisoned everything in mojito, even the food. These are so salty. You'd need six mojitos before you start eating in six spoons of that. Right. They are disgusting. Excuse me, take this back. Marcelo, that means salty as hell. Throw it out! Get it together, Marcelo! Control! Listen, I try to control yes. everything. I try to control yes. everything. Take a spoon. I'm gonna take, I'm everything. gonna take. No, no, listen. Throw them out. It's changing for new ones. Instead of arguing, do it, do it, do it, do it now! Let me just tell you something. Lunch was a disaster. I could hear a lot of shouting. What? Is that normal? That's how we hear every day. Every single day. Kata's always pushing me. Checking your performance. You're not my boss. Maybe they're really nervous. So when I came back for dinner service, uh, hi, how are you? I kept an open mind. Unfortunately, things were no different. That's terrible. It actually got worse. Who made this? Wow. You should, should know better. Yeah. How can you allow food to come out like that nasty? Negative, negative. It was like soggy no, and it was it's not crispy. It it's was not soggy. Crispy. It's supposed to be nicer. Honestly, after all that fighting, I was getting a headache. So I decided to go downstairs and take a good look around the storage. What I found was absolutely shocking. That is what you call dry chicken. There must be thousands and thousands of dollars worth of food here. After the last unhappy customer left, will never come here again. I then decided to call a meeting and really give them a big wake-up call. I've never seen such waste in my entire life. There's seven of these <gasps> down there. Seven. This is rapidly shutting down the restaurant. 
Mojito was a mess, and nothing was going to change until Qatar and Marcelo had really put their differences aside. The next morning, I pulled them each aside to have a real heart-to-heart -heart with them. The restaurant's suffering on the back of both of you constantly hurting each other, and it's so sad. It's embarrassing. Do you think it's time that one of you says goodbye to the business? I think we'll be very healthy. How important is the business for you? It's everything for me. The person that I was married to, that person doesn't exist anymore. He's gone. And I have to move on. So I'm taking care of my business, because that's all I have left. Whatever it takes, I'll go to the end. Until I feel that there's nothing else that I can do. I'm committed. OK, Come thank you. Come here. Stand strong. Finally, there was hope for the future. With that in mind, my team and I spent all night renovating Mojito. Welcome to Mojitos, the new Mojitos, yes? Doesn't it feel twice as big? Hello, Cuba. Here's the to me. First thing that's gone missing are the 500 bottles that were stopping all that natural light. Oh, that's beautiful. Take a look at where your bottles have gone. That's a lot. Gaza, what do you think? This is amazing. Today is the beginning of a new chapter inside Mojitos. Come in. You little firecracker. Then I unveiled the new menu. Look at the difference in the portion size. It's a lot less, but visually, it's beautiful. For relaunch night, Qatar and Marcelo decided to work the front of house together. Follow me this way, guys. And leave the kitchen to Eduardo. You convinced you can do it? No. You got it. Cuban sandwich, OK. What came back? Just blame that's because the order of Cuban sandwich. Not the pork. Not the pork. Look at me now. You've got to call out the fucking orders. Eduardo was getting flustered. Orders were coming back to the kitchen. Guys, F5 is missing a Cuban. <sighs> Bloody hell. The new mojito will start to look a lot like the old one. And then Marcelo had I have to do something. Jumped straight back into the kitchen and took charge. We concentrating a pescado marinero, ropa vieja, arroz con pollo, white meat only, churrasco pork. Brilliant. Thank you. Hi, buddy. Kata and me are working together well again. How was everything here? Yes. Yes. They loved everything. Yeah, baby. Yeah! Tonight wasn't perfect, but I did see one thing that, that I haven't witnessed, and that was teamwork. Well done. Just wait to see Marcelo smile. It just sort of my heart. I need you to continue. You are the, the half of that. I'm going to do everything that it takes to make it work. You guys work well together. Tonight, prove that. Don't stop. You'd be mad to. Come on, my darling. Aye, aye, aye. Oh. Great team. I'm back at Mojito in Brooklyn, New York City. Now, if you came here last year, you would have been served dreadful food by bickering owners. We made a lot of changes and brought the owners finally together. I'm just hoping it paid off. We're about to find out. Up next, have the ex-lovers patched up their differences? She treated you like a partner, not like you're her bitch. Or are they driving mojitos back into bankruptcy? I don't care. Then, Flamangos was Chef Ramsay's toughest assignment. That's not cooking. That's dog shit. Remember the outburst? Shut your mouth already. The fire? How can you be positive about something you hate? Hate, hate. Now get ready for round two of Gordon versus Adele. Oh, my god. It's the rematch. Coming up on Kitchen Nightmares Revisited. Mojito, a Cuban restaurant in Brooklyn, was run by a former couple who seemed more interested in feuding Listen, I tried to control everything. than the restaurant. Go out here. I'm not going out. Go out here. I'm not. Go out of my kitchen. Now. It was a big challenge, but Chef Ramsay revamped the restaurant and unified Kata and Marcelo. Now, one year later, is Mojito's enjoying peace and prosperity, or is it back to its old bickering ways? Last time I was at Mojito, food was dreadful and the business was going down the tubes. Nothing was going to change unless Katia and Marcelo had stopped all that fighting. It took a lot of tears, but they finally became an amazing team. I just hope they've kept it up. Hello! Katia, how are you? Good to see you. Oh, well. Welcome oh, back to Mojito. Good We're to see wonderful. You. Sounds great. Atmosphere's up. Saint Gordon was like seeing an old friend. 
He has a very special place in my heart, a mojito's heart. Yeah, it's a oh, wow. Thank you. Silly question, because it looks busy, but how is business? It is his great. Um, great. Where should we sit? Here. Okay, great. Great, great, great. Good to see you. My God, I forgot how glamorous you were. Yeah. Now, it's working together professionally. Yes. And who's in control? Who's wearing the trousers? You or him? Well, we both do. You know, it's, it's, it's a give and take, you know. Now Brilliant. we're like we're really partners and we're really working out. Brilliant. And respecting each other and respecting each other's work mm -hmm. and commitment. And we're really committed to make it work. Business is up by how much? 30%. That's brilliant. Business has gotten a lot better. We paid off half our debts, so it looks a lot better. Six months, we are estimated to be out of debt. That's free. Right. I mean, that's amazing. Yes. Marcello, um, where is he? He's in the kitchen. I'm so excited to come back. You know that. All right. I'll go surprise him. OK, nice to Thank see you. Thank you. Chef Alara. Senor. Good to see you. Ah, me too, my You look man. great. You look happy. Yes. Not just because I'm here. You're like this on a daily basis, motivated, fired up, and ready to go, yeah? Amazing. Your relationship with Qatar is on a professional front. In the professional way, I'm, I'm more relaxed. If she treats you like a partner, not like you're her bitch. Just serve that to the rice. Serve the rice. Marcelo, why don't you listen wow. to me? She's, she's showing you respect. All time. Purchasing. Very under control. There must be thousands and thousands of dollars worth of food here. Are you buying the stuff now? Yeah. Oh, Jesus. Where is it? You want to check? Yeah, I want to have a check, yeah. Please, Come on, after you. Go. How clean this is down here. So look, my god. Now, these fridges are full. I'm kind of afraid because I have my, my fridge with a lot of stock, but this is because my business is coming up a lot. Listen, not just the labels, the dates, the plastic wrap, everything's so well organized. Brilliant, brilliant, brilliant. Last time I came down here, it was in a mess. <laughs> um, right, I'm hungry. What do you recommend for lunch? I'm gonna surprise you. I like your surprises. How was your busy downstairs? Brilliant. Clean down there. Impressive, right? The good news is it sounds like he's got his passion back and he seems a lot more relaxed, less... Um, he's no? aggressive and jumpy. Yeah. We work on that. OK. Wow, they're going most of the big guys. That's like the kind of flavors that I like yeah. to eat. <laughs> Fantastic. That's delicious. What happens when an argument takes place and you're not happy with Marcelo and he's not happy with you and you want to let, let it go? We call our peacemaker, which is my mom. She works hand to hand with Marcelo. Mommy? This is your mom? Hi. How are nice you? Nice to meet you. Hello. 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 My goodness me, sit down, please. That's my mom. Wow, wow, wow. So this has been the secret success behind Mojito? Yes. Does she understand the level of your stubbornness? Si. <laughs> She does, yeah. I don't need to translate that. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why Corinne said that I'm stubborn. If I want to scream, I can do it. I'm the boss here. Remember who I am. Here he is. Oh, food is here. Sit down, sit down, sit down. I want to talk to you. At this time, I'm really, really nervous because I know he's a really, really high standard. Delicious food, by the way. I mean, really delicious. He like it. He really enjoyed the food, so... Great. Here's the thing. To get rid of your debts by 50% in the first 12 months of trading in amongst the recession is extraordinary. 99% of breakdown in relationships is always financially related. With the pressure gone, is there any possibility that you may get back together? Oh, no, he tries. He plays our relationship therapist. Because you look so happy together. When Gordon Ramsay come here, we feel like a nostalgic about our relation and we try like a work again but the heart and the feelings are completely different ways what went wrong when it got back together i think we have different kind of lifestyles and i think it's best to take uh, separate ways yeah. last time i came what was the worst moment when things were like out of control salty as hell throw it out my worst moment is when you come with a lot of chicken and avocados. You've got enough food down there to serve a banquet of 5,000. I'm very proud of you both. You deserve more. So just continue. One step at a time, you know? Yes. Good to see all three of you. Wonderful. If Ronzi didn't come to Mojito, we'd probably be out of business. Take care of him. We didn't have a clear vision. Thank you. The most value I learned from Ramsey is I recover the passion 
for my job. Thank you. Ciao. I'm so proud of these two. Honestly, they managed to turn around a dying business in the middle of the recession. They're out of debt and they've managed to move on from the past. Right now, the future for Mojitos looks very, very bright indeed. Great news. Coming up, we go back to White House Station, New Jersey, where Adele, the owner, battled with her staff. Stop mocking me! And disagreed with Chef Ramsay. Adele, what do you think? I don't like it. Now, one year later, oh. has she embraced the changes? Are you nicer to your staff now? Am I nicer to you? Or is this kitchen nightmare still spinning out of control? And later, remember Paul from Bazzini's? I'm miserable. I don't want to get out of bed in the morning. You'll be shocked to see what happens when Gordon returns on the... That's all coming up on Kitchen Nightmares Revisited. White House Station, New Jersey, is a quiet commuter town one hour outside Manhattan. Everything was just so damn quiet and peaceful. That is, until you got near flamingos. We have big problems here. Girls! There was the owner, Adele, who was dead set in her ways. Shut your mouth already! This was a family affair. Adele and her husband, Bill, had run successful restaurants in the past. But they opened this one so they could work with their daughter, Cheryl. Chop, chop! My first stop on this trip was to Bill and Adele's farmhouse. Hello. Hello. Now, do you just pop over for a slice of cake? No, <laughs> I live here. You live here? <laughs> yes. How old are you? I'm 42 years old. Same age as me. I left mum 24 years ago. Yeah. <laughs> what are you still doing here? I haven't had a paycheck in two years. Mm -hmm. I have to live home. This is pretty shocking for a 42-year-old lady to still be living at home. Wow. But even more shocking was the decor. Oh, my God. It's like a zoo in here. Well, it is tropical. Who designed it? My daughter decorated it. How drunk was she when she put the final sketches together? I could see we had plenty of problems to fix at Flamango's, and I was really hoping the food wasn't one of them. <coughs> Fat chance. <laughs> what is that thing? These are roof tile. Reading it from the tile. You'll love this. Yeah. That's the toughest filet mignon I've ever tasted in my entire life. I was pissed off. I went straight to the kitchen to confront the chef, Brian. Straight up, would you eat it? No. You sent it to me. That's not cooking. That's dog shit. That night, I observed dinner service, and it became so obvious to why this restaurant was failing. Bad food. The soda was very bland. Slow service. We've been here since 6 o'clock. And a very stubborn owner who had treated her customers and her staff like dogs. Shut your mouth already! Absolute crazy. And then there was poor Bill. Here I go. You've got a 70 year old man going round and round the dining room. He shouldn't be doing this at this pace. From what I saw at dinner service, I knew they had to do something they've never done before. Have a staff meeting. Well, Isabel, you're an excellent server, but you don't freaking listen. I know what the F I'm doing. You don't know when to shut up. The next morning, I wanted Bill to get back in touch with something that really made him successful in the past. What is your favorite dish to cook? My meatloaf. Tonight you're going to cook that. I would never order meatloaf out. Never. Yeah, 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 yeah. Adele, the owner, was fighting me every step of the way. That night, the customers really loved Bill's special. The meatloaf. Uh, out of this yeah. world. But the dishes from the old menu bombed. I'll bring the owner over. Adele, they want to speak with you. OK, complaints. What are they? It's dry. It's dry. So you don't want it. They all OK. Bastard. The amazing thing is, even though the restaurant was going under, everyone was still clinging on to the old ways. That's when I knew I'd have to do something really drastic. Everybody, stand up, grab a chair for the dining room, and follow me. Let's go. Oh, hold on. No! What do you mean, no? That's I, uh, Willie, my alligator. Trust me, I need him. Well, I want that alligator. Uh, uh, oh, my God. Adele, the only way I know when I leave that the tropics aren't going to creep back in <laughs> is to burn them. <laughs> uh, look 
Shabbat! Anyone for cooked alligator? Is that right? Sometimes it's hard to say goodbye to the past. You know that? It's all right, baby. That night, my team and I went to work making one of the most drastic changes ever in the history of Kitchen Nightmares. Welcome oh. to the junction. Oh, <laughs> Look at the size of this place. Oh, my God. Adele, what do you think? I don't like it. You don't I, like it? I hate blue. Unbelievable. This was beyond any shadow of a doubt, one of the most stubborn owners I've ever work with. I hate it. How can you be positive about something you hate? Ugly. Hate, hate, hate. I didn't think it could get any worse, but then Adele was always full of surprises. What do you think of the menu? I mean, this is very limited. I'm trying so hard to help here. Yeah. And you have to embrace change, because if you're not going to embrace change, do yourself a favor, shut the shop and retire. Then I unveiled the new dishes, and everyone was so excited, except for the one woman I called Madam Grumpy. Oh, she's oh, like I'm a fish. <laughs> it was relaunch night, and I was really praying Adele's negativity wouldn't rub off on the rest of her staff. I need your smile. I'll be right out. Good, first customer's here. This looks like a place to be fun to come to every day. Really? It's open, it's um, inviting. Where is Madam Grumpy? Where is she? Oh. I caught her arguing with customers who like the changes. It's nice and bright. It's too bright. Already you don't believe in it. The negativity is going to rub off on your staff. Mm. It's going to rub off on your daughter. And the customers will be feeding it. Uh, I don't know. I need to get out of here. Unbelievable. Relaunch night was about to go up in flames, so I turned to Bill for some help. She's our first point of contact. Yeah. If you could do me a favor and just ask her to put a smile yeah, on that on face. face. Okay, I, I will do that. How you doing? Okay? I'm scared. I'm so nervous. Don't be scared. Smile. Smile. Here you go. You like Bill's Milo? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Good. Uh, is she lying up? Yes. I told you she's a pain in the ass. <laughs> yeah, but you didn't tell me on what scale of a pain in the ass she is. Oh, she's 11. 11. 11. Oh, good. This is wonderful. Thank you. So everybody's happy. A big thank you to the Queen. <laughs> I'm serious. I will be back, and I'll take great pleasure in witnessing the success. And by the time I get back, madam, I want you moved out of that house. <laughs> yes? Promise me? I promise. Okay, good. I'm back at the junction in White House Station, New Jersey. This restaurant was known for three things. Bad food, wacky decor, and an owner, the most stubborn this side of the Mississippi. We made a lot of changes. I'm dying to find out if they're successful. Up next, sparks fly. Oh, my God. When Gordon and Adele face off again. We have not changed one little bit. Then we are going back to Bazzini's, where a burnt-out owner took his frustration out on his staff. So let me demo a chicken milanese for the 400th fucking time. Don't push it, Paul. An infuriated Chef Ramsay. We need to fucking cook. Now, a year later, we're about to find out if Bazzini's has gone boom or bust. When Kitchen Nightmares Revisited returns. The old flamingos combined a really bad concept. Oh, my god. It's like a zoo in here. With terrible food. Excuse me. And one of the most stubborn owners Chef Ramsay has ever met. Shut your mouth already! It took a little fighting and a big fire to get this restaurant on track. It's all right, baby. Now, one year later, is the junction cooking or has it gone up in flames? Last time I was here, Adele, the owner, fought me every step of the way. The rotten food, the wacky decor, she didn't want to change a thing. Finally, she accepted it. I'm back now to see if they've changed this place into a big success. Hello, princess. Oh, <laughs> how, are how are you? Oh, my God. How are you? Good, how are you? Oh, my God. He's actually brave enough to come back here to see us. You look great. Um, are you married? No. So, you're not married? Still single. Oh, shh. 
sugar, seriously. You were supposed to help me. I, I don't know if I've got mates that brave. Where, where, where are you staying? Still on... home with mom. <laughs> oh, come on. <laughs> Nearly moving out on the yes, verge of? on the verge of, I promise. And by the time I get back, madam, I want you moved out of that house. <laughs> yes? Promise me? I promise. OK, good. I lied a little, but what are you going to do? Where's the queen? The queen is in the kitchen. Yeah. <laughs> Hello. Look who's here. How are you? Oh, I'm hanging in there. Oh, my God. First of all, it's great to see you. Really good to you see you. Are you sure? I'm seriously. Do you feel the same way? I love you. That, you what? You see the smile? <laughs> OK, good. Good, good, good. Now, most important question for me. I've been thinking about it all the way up here. Uh-uh. Do you still hate me? I never hated you. He says it's going to work. How stupid can you be? Are you nicer to your staff now? You don't freaking listen. Isabel, am I nicer to you? How are you? <laughs> How oh, are you? Oh, goodness. oh, goodness me. Is she nicer to you, yes or no? Um, Truth yes. She is a lot better. She's, yes. she's getting a lot better. After I saw Cal, I did come off harsh. I tried to soften my approach to people. Now, where's Brian, the chef? Where is he? He's working in a bagel shop. Oh, is now. he? Yes. Why? He didn't like the way we ran our kitchen, and we didn't like the way he ran it. How's business? It's different. It's different. It because. We went from a higher end to a, a more affordable menu, so you bring in different people. Yep. Why are you yep. smiling? You haven't changed, have you? <laughs> uh, I did. You have not changed one little hey, bit. I'm 70 years old. You think I'm going to change now? No. Call me stubborn, a hard head, I don't know. Well, I feel Gordon put us on the right path by going more casual. You're still making desserts? Yes. Good. Fantastic. Are they going well? Very well, yeah. Brilliant, 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 brilliant. Yeah. Are you happier? I'm ecstatic. What makes you happy? When I see my restaurant full. OK, good. Can we go have a bite to eat together? Yes, go. Nice. So good to see you. <laughs> How nice is this? Just, this is wonderful. This is amazing. Listen to the buzz, the atmosphere. Yes. If this was still flamingos, yes. where would we be now? Closed. Business has been very good. We're doing double the business. Big difference from when it was flamingos. Right, we're going to have. Start off with something to drink. Sex on the beach. Sex on. <laughs> sex on the beach. What's that? You never had you sex, never had on, sex the beach? on the beach. Well, I did in Florida when I proposed to my wife. Yes, but I wasn't drinking. This is different. <laughs> Of course, my mother, with her sense of humor, had to order sex on the beach. Whilst I was here, we had some good times and we had some bad times. What was the best time for you? I guess when you walked in the door. You really mean that? Yeah. What was the worst time for you? When you called me Madam Grumpy. What about the bonfire? How could I forget about that? The tropics are going. Ah, look at that. It was very important. I think the older you get, the harder it is to of adapt course. and change. Gordon changed all three of us into having to think differently about business. Oh my god, look at the size of that. Thank you, Diane. Your, your meatloaf, or Bill's meatloaf, I should say. Do you mind if I have a little taste? Oh, yes, do you mind? Go right ahead. Good? Wow. It's absolutely delicious. Beautiful. I mean, really good. Um, Cheryl, you're charismatic. You've got beautiful eyes. You've got scary nails. You're very pretty. <laughs> Why can't you date men? You know what a Guido is. A Guido? Yeah. <laughs> That's what she's looking for. The guy in my dreams will come up to me and say, hey, how you doing? My name's Tony. Are you single? <laughs> I've got a long journey home, and I'd love to take out and, and buy one of those pies to take back for my children. Here's apple crumb. Apple crumb. Or humple. Hum humple. Humple. Hold on, where'd that name come from? Oh, <laughs> Jesus. Humple. <laughs> what? No one Too many that. sex on the beach cocktails. <laughs> humple. Uh, What's it's humple? Pumpkin and egg. You know we want to be different. Honestly, yeah, you're definitely different. You, my sir, 
You deserve to be knighted. <laughs> Honestly. Oh, that was right on. I tell her all the time I should get a medal being with you all the time. Stay there, I've got a little surprise for you. Yeah. Okay? Oh, Just a little surprise. present from me. Oh boy. First of all. Is a guy gonna come out of there? My apologies, it's not a guy. <laughs> okay? But something that can bring back memories. There we are, my darling. Uh -oh. <laughs> Yes. Oh, oh, my God. Oh, an alligator. Lily's back. Oh, my God. I can't believe Gordon brought Willie the alligator back. Willie's oh, back. No. What do you mean, no? That's I, uh, Willie, my alligator. Trust me. <laughs> Being Gordon burned Willie, our alligator, it was very nice that he replaced it with uh, a new Willie. Maybe we'll name the new alligator Willie the Second, or maybe Gordy. <laughs> okay, Thank you very much. Bill, good to see you. We want to make sure that we're successful, so Charlotte can live a good life with her new husband and grandchildren. <laughs> Take care, babe. Oh, good to see you. The main thing that I learned from Gordon coming in is that we had to make the change, or else that's the end of the restaurant. <laughs> no, don't cry. Come on. We definitely wouldn't have still been here if this was for Langos. Absolutely. We need Gordon to come in and save the day, and he definitely did that for us. And we can't thank him enough. Wow. She's still a firecracker. But for me, the good news is Adele has embraced changes, and it looks like the junction is back on track big time. All she has to do now is get that 43-year-old daughter out of the house. My God. Still living at home. Coming up, he was one of the most distraught and burnt out owners Chef Ramsay has ever dealt with. I'm miserable. Paul Bazzini was a man of many excuses. Well, you haven't changed enough to convince me that this can turn around. Now, a year later, Chef Ramsay is back, and he can't believe what he finds. You won't either. That's coming up on Kitchen Nightmares Revisited. One of my biggest challenges last year was in Ridgewood, New Jersey. It was a great little town, very affluent, just half an hour outside New York City. Lots of restaurants everywhere doing really well, but not Bazzini's. Here's your salad. What salads, what table? I'm confused, I'm confused. The biggest problem was the owner, Paul. This needs to be heated up. These are perfect. You just didn't give a damn anymore. A lot of complaints. Yeah, so I heard. Paul was an angry man. Always somebody, always somebody, always somebody. Oh. His wife, Leslie, just couldn't get through to him. You're like, well, dead. I want the nightmare to be over. And his talented pastry chef, Sharon, couldn't stand him. If he were a woman, he would have PMS 24-7, OK? I showed up the first day, ready and excited for some lunch. No, no lunch. That's ridiculous. Call me. An hour later, he finally rang. I'm starving. How are you? Hi, welcome to Bazzini's. The first thing that struck me... <sighs> Oof. The dining room was falling apart. God, they're grimy. <laughs> Andre comes with sound effects. Little did I know, the sound effects were the best part. Really bland. It's not normal for a chicken to be so fucking hard. Fettuccine, bland. Chicken, why is it so dry? That's bullshit. Oh. What a mess. Any desserts? Certainly. Sharon, our dessert chef, makes everything. Gordon's eating your carrot cake right now okay, as we speak. Oh. Oi vey. Hey. Bloody hell. Please. You scared me. Don't come around the corner like that. Sharon. <laughs> <laughs> that is delicious. Awesome. That's made with passion. You make love to that carrot cake, yeah. don't you? Well, I'm getting divorced, so it's the cake or... Uh... <laughs> I'll go for the cake. <laughs> I went to the back to talk to Paul about my rotten lunch, and I was amazed. He just didn't seem to care. Paul, it tasted bland, and it looked atrocious. Honestly, it was fucking disgusting. Seriously, I mean, you may laugh, but it's not funny. Paul had no passion and no soul. And that night's dinner service 
proved it again. Uh, it's cold. Oh, come on. Oh, it's so noisy. So let me demo a chicken milanese for the 400th fucking time, which is nothing more than chicken and salad, and my 12-year-old can do it. Don't push it, Paul. When I don't put it high enough, you yell at me that it's not freaking high enough. Why do you have to make it so difficult for it? Why uh -huh. can't we just... Why no, can't, I'm why, watching. Why can't, but what's with the sarcasm? Well, how about, get how about, if you tell me you do it one fucking way, how about then you're changing it with the fuck you want from me. Changing it right. Well, you told me the first fucking time. His wife could see it. Paul, you don't, please don't start with excuses. That's not going to help. His customers could see it. Get my food now. Everyone but Paul could see he was the reason Bazzini's was going belly up. Whether you like it or not, you have given up. Think I'm happy? I'm miserable. I don't want to get out of bed in the morning. I want to stay in bed. OK, listen, I'm committed to helping you, and I'm not leaving this place until it's set. We are going to work at this together at turning this around. The next day, I made Paul do something he should have done from the start. Open Bazzini's for lunch. Ladies, both of you running the front of house. I've got a kick watching Sharon try to waitress. <laughs> oh, is everything OK? Oh, yes, I'm sorry. Oh, God help me. With my help, Paul's doing a little better. You got four vegetarian, I got five normal, yes? Four vegetarian, on the way. Excellent. And the customers seemed happy for a change. Oh, my gosh, this is so good. So this is, like, the best pasta. <laughs> That's it, the board is cleared. Feeling as though we were moving in the right direction, that night, my team and I gave Bazzini's a much-needed facelift. Look at this. The tables are gorgeous. I love these tchotchkes. Look John is a lemon pound cake on the walls. It's just modern. It looks great. The colour is contemporary. Thank you again. Me. Oh, good one, darling. I'm glad you were happy. Love the menu. From 27 dishes down to 15 is fresh. Char-grilled calamari with fresh chilli and arugula. The main entree is bistecca, fresh caponata with white beans. Pasta of the day is going to be tagliatelle of mussels and clams. Paul, is that menu manageable? Yep. I invited some big local dignitaries for relaunch night. Let's see what this new menu offers us. And I prayed for the best. These tables are very okay. important. I need a second to think. Oh, come on. Al, you got to come on. I need help. I need you to get in the game with me, please. I, I can't do it all alone. One quality that all great chefs have is the ability to work under pressure. Paul can't handle pressure. I need some help. I need someone to move tickets. I can't do everything I myself. I need some communication. Let's just cook! God's sake. Come on, Paul! Paul! I'm doing 400 things at once. And then, things went from bad to worse. Bloody hell, where's Al? Where's my sous chef? Al! Where is Al? I don't know. Al! It was a disaster. And the sous chef, Al, had disappeared. Listen to me. Al may be gone, but the customers need feeding. Let's support one another. All right, take a deep breath. I'm glad to help. Sharon and I rolled up our sleeves. Good girl, Sharon. Thank you, Chef. Good girl. And really worked hard to help save Paul's relaunch night. The food is fantastic. Worth the wait. The night was a success. But let's be honest, I wasn't going to be there every night to bail Paul's ass out of trouble. Honestly, Paul, you haven't changed enough to convince me that this can turn around. I know that it starts and stops with me, and I know that I have to be the leader. I take responsibility for so that. You say all the right things always, but now it's time to do the right things. I'm back in Ridgewood, New Jersey, to visit Bazzini's, where last year I had to work with one of the most defensive chefs I've ever, ever worked with. Now, we made a lot of changes, but I always wondered that they'd stick, and we're about to find out. Coming up, Chef Ramsay is back, but where is Paul? Listen, I'm standing outside Bazzini's. Why aren't you open for lunch? Shocking answers when Kitchen Nightmares Revisited continues. A successful restaurant should have great food. That's not normal for a chicken to be so fucking hard. Convenient hours. It's Monday to Thursday, 5 till 9.30. Shit. And great staff morale. Bazzini's was 0 for 3 because chef owner Paul had given up. A lot of complaints. Yeah, so I heard. It was a difficult journey, but Chef Ramsay gave Paul all the tools to succeed. 
Now one year later, is Bazzini's still on the right path? When I arrived at Bazzini's last year, Chef Paul gave me excuse after excuse. And I left them all the tools to succeed. Now it's time to find out what he did with them. All right. Oh, no. That's the one thing I told him to do, is stay open for lunch. And that is not open. I know one person that will tell me exactly what's going on. Hello. Sharon? Gordon Ramsay. Holy shit. Get out of here. You're full of it. Listen, um, I'm standing outside Bazzini's. Uh, why aren't you open for lunch? Close for lunch, breakfast, supper. It's closed, dude. What? Closed for good? That's ridiculous. And uh, listen, where are you? Walnut, New Jersey. OK. I was shocked that Gordon called me on the phone. OK, I'm going to come over. But you know, I always said from the day he left Bazzini's, one of these days my phone's going to ring, and it's going to be Gordon Ramsay on the other end. So you see, you never know. What the hell? <laughs> Hello. Hello. So when I first saw Gordon, I was thrilled that he came to visit. He looked really hot. <laughs> um, what happened? It closed, like, after the show aired. They never had a lunch service, never. From the day I was that fabulous waitress. Uh, is everything OK? Are you still? Oh, yes, I'm sorry. I was late one day, and he got all pissy and throwing shit all over the place and being nasty, and I just got pissed off. And I said, I'm out of here. I just couldn't work there. After couldn't, everything uh, you did for him. Right. Listen, I don't wish anybody badly, but I, I was really good to him, and he wasn't nice to me. Oh, shit. Um, so, <laughs> Bazzini's is closed. Finito. Go. What are you doing now? OK, so I'm baking. Check it out. Cran apple. What do you think? The truth. <laughs> Come on, Gordon. It's delicious. His business is going well. Yeah. I'm baking like a mad woman, <laughs> day and night. That's all I do, bake. OK, go back a bit. Go back 12 months when we first arrived at Bazzini's. Mm -hmm. Best moment. When you told me my carrot cake was the best. You make love to that carrot cake, yeah. don't you? Well, I'm getting divorced, so it's the cake or uh... <laughs> <laughs> I'll go for the cake. And the worst was that stupid goddamn fight in the kitchen. What the fuck you want from me? Changing it right. Well, you told me the first fucking time. <sighs> Threw you under the bus, didn't he? He did, but I wasn't going. No way. If you tried to throw me under the bus, I wouldn't stand for it. So I wouldn't stand for it from him either. But you have something unique, and that's you. Thank you. And those cakes. Thank you. Look after. You're Take awesome. care. Good Take to care. see you. Oh. I was thrilled, really genuinely thrilled. He's awesome. <laughs> Take care. Take care, darling. Love you. You too. Sharon, Sharon, Sharon. You gotta love her. This year, the restaurant business has had one of the toughest years in decades, and I am so happy that The Junction and Mojito are thriving. Good night.